Hi everyone. When it comes to mosaics, we're always on the lookout for tools that will make that job easier, especially when we're dealing with hard materials such as wall tile and floor tile. Because they've been high fired, it makes them very durable, but it also makes it very dif difficult to cut and to shape them for most of the tools in the marketplace. I've just bought a new product that's just been released into the market called Pro Compound Tile Nippers. And although compound tile nippers have been in the marketplace for a while, not everyone can buy them because not all stores carry them. So I bought these ones online. But how do they perform and how comfortable are they to use? Well, what I've made is I've made a short video on them and I've also made a short review on them as well. And I'm going to show you that right now. Here I am at testing headquarters. I've got my Pro Compound Tile Nippers here ready to go. I've got protective eyewear, so as I don't get any chips flicking up into my eyes. I've got a dust mask here, and I've got the various types of tiles ranging from 5mm up to about 8mm, which is this one here, so we can run a uh, test on them. And uh, yeah, I'm ready to go. So what I'll do is I'll clear this area, and then we'll um, start chipping away at a tile and see how they perform. The first thing I'm going to do is score a line across here because I want to keep this bit because I can use that for something else with this score and breaker and then we'll break this off. So we'll run that score line straight up there. Love that sound. Now hopefully the magic's going to work. We'll put on the score line and yes it did. So that's a good start so I can keep that for uh, another mosaic somewhere on the line so we'll put that aside. Now what we'll do is we'll um, start chipping away and see how this works by just chipping. So we'll have to undo that. Well, they're very comfortable for me. Um, I do have reasonably large size hands. It doesn't take much effort to actually shape it, which is really good. We'll shape that a bit more. So that works quite well. Now, how do they cut? How, do, how does it work on a cut straight across? So we put it just in there like that. Yep, fairly straight, except for that. It's the make of the tile, but I do like how it nips it. Fairly nice nip. I do find these quite comfortable. They're very good to handle in, as far as that goes. Now let's try it on a different tile. I'm making a bit of a mess here, but it doesn't really matter. Now different tiles because they've been manufactured differently and also because of the firing, they're all going to work differently to each other. But certainly they're better than using side biters, I find. So we'll see how this cuts on a straight angle. Do it this way. Yep. So it is going to depend on how well they, the tile is made to how well you're going to get a straight line. But it really isn't much effort. Now, whether you do small nips or large nips, it's not too bad. We'll give a whirl on this one. Straight cut. 
that took a lot more effort so clearly this is a much harder tile so we'll see how it goes on a shape shaping wise it seems to be pretty good on this one as well this tile has got a texture to it so that makes it a little bit more difficult to get that finite that finite um, cut that you want to just, just fine tune it but overall um, on a hard tile it's still not too bad I did find that when I want to cut it across here it took a bit more effort but not too bad now the Johnston tile I seem to be going through a few of these lately and the reason why I'm cutting it on curves is because I find that you it really does tend to show how well it is to curve it because a straight line can be performed by a cutter like that breaker there or a mechanical um, cutter but when it comes to doing a curve it's a little bit more difficult because you physically have to get there and shape it So we do that, but that's not too bad. Now the big hard tire, oh actually we'll do a cut straight cut and see how that goes there. So just put it in slightly. And of course I am going to cut that on an angle because I can't put it all the way in, uh, you know, as in because this bit here is stopping it. So cuts as well as the others. Which is good because Johnson's can be a bit more difficult to cut. Okay, let's try this big one. This will be very interesting. Now, of course, you have to open up the jaws wider. So, where people find that they have may have where they have small hands may find these a bit more difficult to use. But I've also come up with a way, and it's not my original idea, I might say, to actually if you have small hands to be able to use these a bit easy however you will probably on thick tile have a bit more difficulty if you do have small hands but in saying that though I very rarely uh, actually I haven't used thick tile like this before I, I mainly use you know the five and six mil tile so this is probably excessive for most people but I thought see I had this would give it a whirl okay so Okay, so it is going to require a lot more effort, which is understandable. But I can still shape it. But gee, it's thick. But the, the secret to doing a big tile like these is little nips, not big nips. And you may find my water technique may work quite well with this tile too. But again, like I said, you know, my thing is I mainly use smaller thinner tiles you can use this but gee you know you wouldn't want to do too many of these because it would create oh my patch is closed it would create a lot of heartache on your hand but mind you you know you could probably get thick tile that that would be easy to um, cut as well so overall these are really quite good they're very good for shaping I find with very minimal effort on the Johnson tiles and your five and five and six mil tiles although there is going to be the odd one like this where it's textured and clearly this one was a bit more difficult to cut um, now what I was thinking of was with the if you have small hands what you can do is put an elastic band in there because these because of the design um, of this you find that it takes less effort than something like this okay because of how they're designed so that's why where these ones tend to hurt my hand after a while these ones weren't these ones are really quite good but if you've got small hands just put that on there and that stops them from opening up and then that allows you to just slide the tile in and just cut without a problem I mean really these are really now this is a Johnston tile look at that nice curve not a large one so overall I would sum these up as being a very good nipper 
for the cost of what they are. Um, these are a generic um, aftermarket pair. These are not a branded pair. Um, they are called Pro, Pro Compound Tail Nippers and they are made in China. But for the price and how well they worked here, I, I would suggest these will be a good tile nipper for anyone that's having um, that wants to purchase something for hard tiles. I bought these online, uh, but as I say in in all my reviews, this is just my personal opinion. Uh, so you need to do your own test to find out whether they're going to be suitable for you. But overall, I'm quite happy with them, and I'm glad I bought them. Thanks for watching. Bye.